Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an important question that many app developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to detect the enable or disable status of accessibility color inversion mode in Android. This feature is crucial for ensuring that your application is user-friendly for everyone, especially for those with visual impairments. So let's dive into the details and see if there's an API that can help us with this. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To check the status of the accessibility color inversion mode in your Android application, we can use the Accessibility Manager class. First, we need to get an instance of the Accessibility Manager. This can be done using the Get System Service method. Next, we can check if the Color Inversion feature is enabled by using the Is Color Inversion Enabled method. Finally, remember to handle any UI changes based on the status of color inversion. This ensures your app remains accessible and user-friendly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check the status of accessibility color inversion mode, you can use a simple code snippet. This mode may also be referred to as negative color on some devices. The code retrieves the inversion mode status and logs whether it is enabled or disabled. If the setting is not found, it checks for high contrast mode instead. This method returns a Boolean indicating if the inversion mode is active, helping developers ensure accessibility features are properly managed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Color inversion doesn't improve contrast. If white text on gray is hard to read, inverted black on dark gray is just as difficult. Consider using black text originally for better visibility. Refer to CAD Criterion 1.4.3 for contrast guidelines. You can find resources online to help calculate the contrast ratio between colors. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.